So you've never bought a property before and you don't really know how. So what are the steps to acquiring a property? I'm Aaron Impens and we're gonna go over five steps to buying a house. Okay, so you're going out there trying to find your first property to buy, okay? You're a new investor or for that matter, maybe even a homeowner, but in this case, likely an investor. You wanna figure out what are the steps to take? Everybody asks me, well, how do you find these properties or what do you do or how do I do it? Today, let's talk about those five steps that I think are important to acquiring a property, okay? The first one is going to be make a plan, <laughs> okay? I know that sounds pretty, uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but let's talk about that a little bit. What does make a plan mean? When you're making a plan or when you're deciding on a property you want to buy, you're going to have to set yourself some certain criteria. Okay. You want to determine whether or not maybe you're just going to buy three bed, two bath ranch homes, or maybe you're going to buy only multifamily, something along those lines. You want to decide that and set that criteria for you. You know, uh, maybe it needs to make a specific amount of return on your investment, something along those lines. While you're making that plan, you can start building the relationships with the people that are going to be uh, key in that plan. You know, it's going to be banks, um, contractors, both of those are going to be very key in that plan. Okay. So pretty straightforward. So number two, line up financing. Okay. Number two, line up financing. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. <laughs> Um, like I discussed here, when you're making that plan and you're building those relationships with the banks, this is going to be key here. You're going to want to line up that financing. What kind of financing are you going to get? Are you going to get a traditional loan from a bank where you have to come in, put 20% down, uh, and then amortize the rest of that out? Are you going to be looking at, uh, private money? Maybe so. If you're looking to flip properties, you could use other people's money, borrow that, um, fix it up and resell it. Maybe even hard money. Um, that's another option as well. Business, uh, partners are good, um, seller financing, all kinds of different things. You want to start lining that financing up. Okay. Pretty easy. So number three, start finding the deals, start finding deals. Okay. Again, pretty straightforward, but how do you go about that? How do you find those deals? How do you find those deals? Well, the one and only way that I know is to look at properties, go out there and look at real estate. It's very easy. Uh, I don't care if it's retail or, or discounted, you know, whatever you, you decide, you go out there and you look at properties, look at as many as you can start analyzing those deals. Say, ah, I looked at this place. It's a three bed, two bath. It's going to be worth X amount of dollars. Start determining what those values are. That way, when you know you walk into a property and someone says, yeah, I want to sell my property for 50 grand and you're in your mind, you're like, oh, I've already looked in this neighborhood. I know that's going to be worth a hundred. You know, you're walking into something that's a good deal. So start finding the properties. Look at the real estate. Okay. Number four. So you've looked at all of this real estate. You've checked them all out. You've analyzed things. Make offers. Whoops. Make an offer. It's easy. It doesn't matter what your offer is. It can be cash. It can be with finance. It can be as is. You can have inspections, all that stuff. It doesn't matter. Make offers. Don't be scared if it's too low or you think it's too low. What's the worst that can happen? The worst they're going to say is no. And you move on to the next one. Remember guys, this is a real estate business. Okay. It's not uh, not an emotional thing. You're not going to move into this property. It doesn't matter. Make your offer and make a lot of them. Okay. I encourage you to make offers pretty straightforward. All right. The last one, this is the, 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 the end one close and I put it, put in service. Wow, I got great handwriting by the way. Uh, this one's important. Okay. I see a lot of people making their offers, but they don't ever intend to close on the property. You've done those first three steps for a reason. Okay. 
So you, you know when you make that offer, you're ready to go and you're ready to close and take it to the end. So the fifth step is close. Put it in service after that. That means line up your property management, line up your utilities, make sure your financing is set up. Uh, if there's any work that needs to be done, get your contractor in there, get it on the market for rent and get a tenant moved in. Listen guys, that's, that's five steps to acquiring a property. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward, easy to follow. Uh, Take some notes. If you got any questions, make sure and leave them below. I'll make sure and get those answered for you. Uh, I got more advice to share and I want to help you guys grow your real estate portfolio as well. Make sure to tune back in, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you thought. We'll see you next time.